Okay. I have this whole thing, and all you have to do is pause it and enlarge it and read it for yourself. I will talk about some things here and there, but at least if I can get the information to you and it's not suppressed, that's better than nothing. Sometimes um, when I've posted in the past, TikTok will strip the sound, remove the sound, so then you can't hear what I might be wanting to teach or talk about. So I figure if you just pause it and enlarge it and read it little by little, everything will be okay. But these are the things that they're not telling you, that um, your infant, your newborn baby can go into something like this, and I want you to look in one, two, three, the third paragraph, inside the third paragraph, and the small black bold print, okay? That's all I want you to do. I um, I don't think that everybody knows this. And if they do know it, I think that they take it very lightly, like it can't happen to me and mine. But I just want you to be mindful. That's all I want. I'm not here to try to convict you or make you upset or offended. I just want you to know the truth so that you can really have informed consent. I have so much research that I did in 2019 in every video that I posted, it was taken down in 2019, y'all. And then in 2020, that thing happened. And then nobody could post anything about this stuff right here, okay? If it did not make those folks look good, you couldn't post it. Everything was immediately fact-checked or there's a disclaimer put on or underneath the video. And I get it. You have to protect your golden egg by all costs. But informed consent isn't, okay, sign this waiver. There may be a fever, right? What's the waiver for? The waiver is so that um, you're, the person who is your prescribed healthcare worker is not responsible for any damages or side effects. That's what the waiver is for. Then if you say, I don't want to sign the waiver, right? No, we in this together. That's what y'all told me. Then if you don't want to sign the waiver, then they will proceed to bully you and tell you that, you know, your life is at risk. You're risking everyone around you. And if there's an outbreak at the school, your, your kid is going to be put out, okay? Because they're not protected. But our kids are not naturally carrying diseases. Make it make sense, right? And that, listen, every year... There is a flu shot. There is a flu season, right? Every single kid comes home with a runny nose, a fever, a cough, something, some form of flu, influenza. Um, then, I don't know. I'm not going to go too deep in it. I'm not going to go too, I'm really going to pace myself. Because I get excited and passionate talking about these things. I'm not trying to be judgmental. I just want everybody to think about what they're saying yes to. And the long-term effects. And thank goodness so many of you haven't been harmed. Or there have been no repercussions yet. But for all of the things that are put in these vials. And pushed to you as, well, the benefits outweigh the risk. I think that we don't really always know the risk. And especially if something was just put on the market, we don't know the risk of having all these little things mixed together. We just don't. So um, download this video, save it to your favorites, share with your friends. Hopefully the video doesn't get taken down. Um, I just want to share this information with you. And again, all you have to do is pause the video and enlarge. If you... Um, want more information those of you who know me you can text me or inbox me but this information has to get out there and it's nothing against healthcare workers you guys are doing your job and you guys are doing a darn good job i don't think all of you know what's in the stuff though everybody should know what's in the stuff and if you already paused it cool i'm gonna i'm gonna um let me see if i can find the 
thing that I was just looking at. Uh, let's see here. Maybe. Oh, let me put this right here too. Let me put this right here. All right. I'm just saying, if y'all are super pro-life, super extremist pro-life, you care about them babies, but you going and getting them uh, obsession with injections, this is what those things contain, right? I'm just sharing with you. Guess what? New information, especially if it contradicts old information, it's always hard to swallow because you have to let go of that old stuff and make peace with the new stuff. Or you can discard it. It's up to you. But at least you are truly now going to have informed consent. You are going to have informed consent. That's all I want you to have. Just know what you're getting into, okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.